Hey Nancy. Happy New Year's Day. Here's your little guy Corbin. Right now we're practicing a recall. Uh, and a recall is just getting him to come to you, leave a distraction and come towards you. Um, I always tell people there's two kinds of recall. There's a casual recall and a formal recall. I don't even really teach a casual recall. Casual recall is just kind of like, um, you know, you're playing around and you call them over and it's cool if they come, not a big deal if they don't. A formal recall is you need to come over here now, regardless of what you're doing, um, regardless of how interesting that thing is. And so that's what we're working on today. And for Corbin, this is gonna be a particularly important command because so much of his, um, so much of what's going to help solve his aggression is being able to call him away from things that he's super focused on and then put him in a place command or put him in a down and things like that. Corbin, here. Come on, come on, there we go. There we go, come on, buddy. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good. Good, good job, bud. Now, I didn't see a lot of hustle out of him. Uh, and to be honest, that's partially, I probably am not gonna get a lot of hustle out of him because he's he's still pretty, um, he's, he doesn't love me like he loves you guys. And so when you guys do this with him, uh, he's, you'll probably see a lot more hustle out of him. This is something um, that we should, we should never, uh, th this is something we should practice forever. Uh, and I'll kind of tell you, when I bring him home, how often you should practice and things like that. It doesn't necessarily, it probably won't have to be a daily thing. Um, typically weekly is good. Hi, big guy. I know. Huh, good. And so what I like to do is I like to just take him out here on this real long leash. My nice bright yellow leash here. Uh, and I'm always going to give him one free command. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say, Corbin, here. He didn't. And so now I'm going to hold down the stem on the button. Here. Here. Keep calling him. Now, as soon as he starts coming, I release to the button. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. And for me, that's okay. That's okay if that's as far as you want to come, huh, big guy? Huh, huh, big guy. And so, like, this doesn't look very exciting, but to be honest, this is a pretty big step for him. I make him very uncomfortable, as any stranger does. Um, and so the fact that he is willing to come with this is awesome. Oh, there we go, good. You had to look around, lots of distractions out there. Hi, big guy. Good boy, good. Okay, okay. Good boy. And so like I said before, um, this is, I mean, this is an important command for any dog, but this is gonna be a particularly important one for him. So much of dog aggression is a focus problem. He just gets so focused on this thing that causes him fear. He doesn't know how to break that focus. And then, so it snowballs and it escalates and escalates and escalates. This is one of the ways that we teach him how to break that focus. When we start to see he's focusing on something in a way that we don't like, I'm just gonna say, Corbin, here. So he didn't come, oh no, you are coming. Good boy, I didn't even use any correction there. Good, good, good boy. Oh, I know, you want the belly rubs, huh? You want the belly rubs. I know, we love the belly rubs. Good boy. But he's doing awesome. Corbin's doing great. Um, yeah, he's he's doing really well. I'm excited. I'm excited to bring him home to you guys in a little bit. We're about about halfway, roughly. I gotta look at my days, but we're roughly halfway there, right? He's looking awesome. Happy New Year.